All right, good morning. So it's like 6 a.m. now. I actually started walking at like 5.30. I woke up at five and packed up, ate some food, drank some water, and yeah, got on the move at 5.30. So the stars were still out, still dark. The sun still hasn't risen actually. It's just about getting light now. So yeah, feeling pretty good. Whenever I start like before sunrise, I'm feeling pretty strong, you know, feeling like, you know, definitely not being lazy. So gonna try and make the most of the early morning, like nice hiking temperatures, because it's a really nice temperature. I, I don't know what it is, like somewhere like 10 or 12 degrees Celsius, like 50 something Fahrenheit. So it's kind of perfect hiking temperature. So yeah, just gonna keep moving. Not sure why this sign is upside down. Oh well. So my plan for today is to try and reach close to 30 miles and that will leave me with just like six or seven miles tomorrow to get to Lordsburg. So yeah, get close to Lordsburg today and then tomorrow have like a really easy morning to get to Lordsburg. And um, yeah, I'll spend a few hours in town tomorrow, just charge my electronics and, you know, get some food and then probably carry on. I don't plan to spend a night in Lordsburg. I think it's not that much further to get to Silver City and I'll definitely spend a night in Silver City. So yeah, that's the plan. And I assume that also like from here to Lordsburg is pretty cruisy miles as well. Like it's all been pretty flat at the beginning of the trail. You know, the main difficulty is the heat, but other than the heat, the trail is really easy. So uh, it should be pretty easy getting to Lordsburg. After Lordsburg, I have my first like big kind of climb of the trail. I think maybe like 10 miles after leaving Lordsburg so that will probably be tomorrow so yeah but today it should be nice and easy and flat So it's like 10 a.m. now and I've done a little over 12 miles already. So that's pretty good going. That's kind of how it goes if you get up early and you know, it's easy miles. So yeah, like 12 miles by 10 a.m. is pretty good. And I caught up with those other guys who I mentioned before, the same guys that were on the shuttle with me on the first day. And not sure if I mentioned all their names already. So they all have trail names and their trail names are the guy who's first time through hiker is Dread Pirate. And then the other two are hiking together. And one of them is Overhill and the other one is Clean Sweep. And Overhill and Clean Sweep hiked the Pacific Crest Trail together and the Arizona Trail together. And now they're doing this together. And um, Overhill's also done the Appalachian Trail. So he's finishing his Triple Crown now. And then the other guy, Clean Sweep, has actually already done the CDT. He's already done this whole trail like four years ago or something, and he's redoing it. So what happened is I caught up to Dread Pirate and Overhill, and they're just ahead of me right now. And Clean Sweep is the one that was feeling really sick, the one that was like, you know, heat stroke or heat exhaustion yesterday. So 
he's actually gotten a ride into town into Lordsburg from the border patrol apparently there's a lot of border patrol agents around here and so yeah border patrol took him into town apparently and uh, yeah hopefully he's feeling all right since he's already done the CDT before I think his plan is just to go into Lordsburg and just skip the section get some rest and then rejoin like join up with um with overhill once you know he reaches lordsburg so yeah i think that's the plan with them So it's actually surprisingly easy to lose the trail here. And I think it's because of all the cows. Obviously it doesn't really matter around here. If you lose the trail, you can easily walk back to it. But all the cows walk along the trail and then they like make their own pathways and they split off all over the place. So as you're walking, the trail will split and then you know, you'll just end up walking on a cow trail, look at the maps and realize that you're way off of the actual CDT. Then have to like just go cross country back to the trail it's kind of weird like obviously you don't really need a trail around here because it's just flat like open landscape with not much around but yeah it's surprisingly easy just to wander off of the trail because of because of all the cows i guess <laughs> So it's about four o'clock now, and I took about a four hour break actually with uh, Dread Pirate and Overhill at that tree. So that was a well needed four hour break and like perfect time of the day to take it, you know, took a long break from 12 o'clock to four o'clock. And, you know, I already had about 17 miles done, I think, by the time I got to that tree. So my plan is to see if I can do like another 13 and make it a 30 mile day. And yeah, skipped the hottest part of the day. It's obviously still hot, but yeah, it was a nice break with them. Uh, we all just took a, a long nap and then just like hung out and chatted a bit. So yeah, moving on. So also apparently another hiker had to get off trail for the same reason for heat exhaustion. So that's two hikers and I've only met like five hikers or something and two of them have gotten off trail already due to heat exhaustion. So the other hiker was called Towley and he had hiked the Appalachian Trail before so he'd done some through hiking, he'd done the Colorado Trail as well. But yeah, Clean Sweep and Towley both had to get off trail and I don't know if Towley also used like Border Patrol to, you know, get him out of here but yeah, they both had to leave the trail. I think uh, they were both throwing up and couldn't eat any food or drink any water they'll just throw up immediately or something like that so sounds pretty bad so that's why i've been taking these like you know four hour breaks in the shade just taking it easy you know playing it safe it's really bizarre how frequently this happens but the trail continuously goes across fences with no gate like i'm pretty sure like the trail will just like 
I can see the signpost on the other side and there's trail on the other side and you're basically supposed to just go over these barbed wire fences which is pretty annoying but it's kind of funny like yeah there'll just be no gate you just have to climb the fence and then the trail continues on the other side also uh, a couple of helicopters flew right by they flew really low to the ground and they were like military style kind of helicopters i assume you know border patrol and they were going quite low to the ground they went right over me i thought they were going to stop or like you know hover or land or something and so i didn't film anything because i didn't want to look suspicious or like i don't know i didn't want to do anything i just carried on walking but i assume it was border patrol and they probably basically just like you know looked out saw me and was like nah that guy's not a mexican and then just carry on or whatever that's what i assume you know but um yesterday overhill told me that they got stopped by border patrol and the border patrol was asking them a load of questions so he also said that when he was on the arizona trail they were camping one night and a helicopter showed up and like sh like was shining a really bright light at their camp and hovering above them for a while so i don't know the border patrol definitely like you know i assume they obviously know about the trail but they're still looking out for i don't know people smuggling stuff across or illegal immigrants just like you know sneaking onto the trail and trying to blend in so yeah it's kind of weird So I just filled up on water here. Most of the time I've been using the water caches, so I don't normally need to filter water so far, but obviously I filter this stuff. There's no natural water sources out here, so it's either a water cache or one of these stagnant tanks. And these are more like here for the cows, really. Here's another water source. Bit of a weird one, just like a massive tire filled with green water. I'm going to skip this one and carry on to the next one. How's it going? I'm feeling it, dude. Yeah. All right, so it's about 8.30 now, and I've done about 28 miles so far today. Planning to do another two miles, which will probably bring me to like 9.15 or something. And yeah, bring me to my first 30 mile day of the CDT. So yeah, 30 miles on the third day wasn't necessary, but given that I just come off the Arizona trail, my legs were kind of ready for it, so been cruisy cruisy you know like feels good man like it's just been easy trail it was obviously hot today but you know the timing of that break was perfect 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock like that was a nice long break it's also like kind of kind of surprised that I'm hitting like 30 miles taking a four hour break as well but like I said it's it's easy walking so always able to put down like a three mile per hour pace Anyway, I just left um, Dread Pirate and Overhill. So they're camping just where I just left them. 
and they did they actually did 29 miles because yesterday i left them and went a little bit further than them so they've done 29 where they're at now and yeah that's a big day for them as well like i'm only doing one mile more than that and you know they're both like i don't know they're not coming off the arizona trail and one of them dread pirate it's his first through hike so day three on his first ever through hike and he's doing 29 miles so it's not all about miles but when there's not much else out here it's just desert like you do start just kind of like thinking about how far you're going and that kind of stuff but obviously it's not like a race race to the finish line but feels good so yeah anyway i'm gonna do these last couple miles and then set up camp and see you guys tomorrow